today on Special Edition TV, Advanced Security Screening Techniques. Here at the ASIS show, one of the most interesting security items was from Cheya USA and its line of security screening equipment designed to detect metal and weapons at points of entry. At the ASIS show this year, uh, we are actually presenting a whole new line of detectors that represent a whole new step up in the technology giving the security directors and security professionals around the world added capabilities to do their job properly and make their life easier. Cheya's line of next generation metal detectors are not only efficient and accurate, they're customizable. Modern metal detectors need to be capable to be tailored to the application that they're used in. Broadly speaking, uh, we typically see two different types of applications. One would be public security. That's what you're experiencing in an airport or in a courthouse. The idea there is that people don't have to line up because of the security checkpoint. Like I mentioned earlier, a detector that's used there needs to be able to distinguish between potential threat objects and innocuous objects like keys, watches, belt buckles, and so forth. That speeds up the process. And speeding up the process while maintaining a secure environment is even more important than ever in order to keep frustrated travelers safe. What we're showing here is how a modern metal detector can ignore personal objects that do not pose a threat. The gentleman is walking through, the detector does not alarm, yet if we look what he has on his body, he has a lot of keys, he has a big metal watch with a metal uh, wristband, he has his belt buckle. Those items, even though they consist of a large metallic mass, do not set off the metal detector because they are not a potential threat item. It is clear that a good modern metal detector can speed up screening processes by focusing only on items that are a potential threat. However, there are also applications that require a different type of sophistication. On the other end, an application is the high sensitivity applications. This is where you are trying to find objects on people that normally don't carry metal objects. And those are very small objects that potentially could be used as a weapon. You might find those type of things in a prison environment. What we will be demonstrating is a person showing a very small object on their body, the only piece of metal they are carrying. You notice the indication of where the object is, and the metal detector did its job. Theft has been prevented. A typical metal detector will tell you if a person has a metal object, but not where. And what we will see here is how a modern machine can precisely locate where a detected threat item is on a person's body. As he walks through, you see a very close indication where the lights are, indicating where the weapon is on the person. The Cheya detector can also be integrated into a network and controlled via a remote computer system. Say there is a change in a security level a requirement in one location, a security director could, from their central control room, actually change the metal detector right online with a few clicks of their mouse and respond to that increased threat. Another possibility is that they can be hooked up to computers and data can be gathered the screening process can be tailored per person to get more personalized screening, uh, such as use, for instance, in areas where theft protection is required. We've been in the security uh, equipment business for over 45 years, and it is a constantly evolving field. And you really have to be able to create new and innovative equipment in order to keep up with what uh, threats are that are out there in the world. For Special Edition TV, I'm Miranda Kahn. Find Cheya at 888-532-2342 or on the web at cheyausa.com. Find Special Edition TV at specialeditiontv.com.